Hey guys, it's your girl Bougie Bree. Welcome back. I am going to do April's monthly haul. I'm just going to tell you straight out, there's a lot of stuff I bought, okay? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. None of this is PR or any of that shit. I bought this with my own coins. There's a lot of stuff, so I'm going to show you. If I can get them. That's, I bought all this shit. <laughs> and I'm going to divide it in sections so it makes more sense, okay? First, I'm going to show you the things I bought from the drugstore. Let's start with these. These are the four Essence um, Element palettes. This is air. This is water. Water, of course, is my favorite. This is fire. And this is earth. I like that color down there. Okay. I also purchased this, which is the Olaria. It's okay. I've already used it. I didn't really dig it too, too much. Then I bought um, several foundations, replacing some of my old foundations. Um, I picked up the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define foundations. I really enjoy this a lot. These are great. I just finished one of those. I also picked up the correct color of uh, my Super Stay, and I picked up the correct color of my Revlon Color Stay. Okay, if you watch my foundation declutter, I uh, had the wrong color. I also picked up um, another one of the Photo Focus translucent powders. And I also picked up from uh, CVS the LA Girl Bright Beam Babe. Let me take off this. Did I take it off? Oh, it is off. Okay. Yeah, I've used it already. I really like it. It's pretty. It's really pretty. So, yeah. Excited about that. Okay, what else did we get? Let's do Milani. I did get a couple of Milani things. Okay, here we go. All right. These are some things I was able to pick up. The first one I was able to grab was a Pure Passions, which I've already used. And I really like this a lot. I think it's really pretty. Um, I picked up the highlighter in Ludicrous Lights. It's super glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. It's really glittery. I picked up the Milani Gilded Nude. I picked up the Gilded Twilight. And I picked up the Gilded Gold. Okay. I also picked up one of the six pan new ones. This is in Most Wanted. I think that color story is really pretty. Okay. All right. I picked up some Wet n Wild stuff. This is what I picked up from Wet Mild right here. These were all on sale like dirt cheap. This is the Stop Playing Safe. Okay. Picked up the VI Purple. Which I heard is not that good, but I wanted to try it. I also picked up this one, which I heard is not that good. The Bed of Roses. Okay, and I picked up this Hello Halo Blush lighter which i think is a funny name after sex glow and i repurchased my awesome blossom highlighter really pretty the last from the drugstore that i picked up were these three from la girl okay i've been wanting to get these and they were on sale somewhere i can't remember where i got them from this is the dramatize because they're like $5.49. I wasn't going to pay that much, but they were on sale wherever I went. This is the Glamorize. I'm missing one, I think. Pretty sure I'm missing one. Oh, wait, I am. Here it is. Okay. This is the Tranqu Tranquilize. Tranquilize. Oh, my God. Say the fucking word, Brie. Jesus. And this is the Fantasize. Okay. The last thing. This is the last thing that I picked up. These were on sale also. Or the e.l.f. little mini palettes of quad palettes. This is the Bite Size in Rose Water. This is an Truffle. This one came broken. Like, it was broken in the store. I got this for, like, 50 cents. Because it was broken. Uh-oh. And the last one I got was the Carnival Candy. Okay. Now let's move on to... Stuff I purchased from Mercari. 
This next that next is all stuff that I purchased from Mercari. Okay, so I'm just going to pull them out one at a time. I cannot remember the name of this one. This is the Kylie Jenner palette. Doesn't have the name on it, which I think is super fucking cheap considering how much money she has that she doesn't put the names on the fucking palettes. I think that's ridiculous, but that's me. This is the um, from Out Cosmetics, the One Love palette. Okay. I did get the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding. Got this for a really good price. I didn't, I my first two experiences with Beauty Bakery were not good, but I'm still trying to love them. Um, I got the Palm Springs Dreams. I had this already and I sold it and I realized I actually really liked it and this was brand new. I got it for like $15, so that was good. I did get repurchase the Morphe 25N. I had this and I sold it and now I have it again. Then I did get, somebody sent this to me free because I did a bundle. Um, this is the Cargo Wonderlust. I think I'm gonna, since it's brand new, I'm gonna go ahead and donate this, but I did receive this. Okay, so let's put that up there. Uh, I did get the other Buxom palette that just came out. This is the Boss Babe Dolly. I love Buxom. So that's that. Okay. I just received yesterday the Carity Picante palette. I'm trying to get them out the boxes. So happy about that. I did repurchase um, the Lorac 3 and 4, even though I'm getting rid of my Lorac Pro. This has been used. She sanitized it. I sanitized it. It's okay. And then the Lorac 4, which also looks rough, but I just sanitized it. She sanitized it. I actually know the seller, so I feel comfortable with that purchase, even though it's rough, as was with this one. This is the Lancome um, Starlight Sparkle. Because she doesn't clean the palettes up, and she, sell, she sells them super cheap. Like, she didn't clean it all up. I think I paid $7 for this, I think. I don't know. But it's gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. She sanitized it. I sanitized it. It's fine. I'll clean it up later. And this is the Naked um, Honey, which I did have. I think I paid $7 for this, too. It's missing two shades. That's okay. This is a palette that I got for free because I purchased um, from the seller. This is a, an Etsy magnetic palette. And then there's some shades in there. Really cute neutral shades. I ordered this from Cara Beauty and they canceled my order because they couldn't verify my identity or some shit. And uh, so I purchased it from Macari and I swatched it and I am not impressed. Like this is not good. I can already tell this is gonna be shitty. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Like I, I swatched it, it's all toppers and shit. No, not cute, not interested. I repurchased the BoxyCharm and Pure Palette. I got rid of this because everybody hated it, but I liked it, so why'd I get rid of it? The BH Fairy Lights. Really pretty. Um, this is the Editor Palette in Central Pay from Siate London. This is gorgeous. Super warm tone, pinky. It's got some beautiful brown shades. I'm like loving this palette. Really pretty. Um, I repurchased the, um, what the hell is this called? Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 1, because I gave mine away. This is the Carl Lagerford and Model, um, Day to Night Eyeshadow Palette. What? I hate cats, but it's still cool. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. I purchased the BoxyCharm palette because I don't get BoxyCharm, but I heard amazing things. And these glitters are fucking real time good. Like, I can't tell you, they're so beautiful. Really beautiful. Like, but I don't know what the fuck BoxyCharm did, but that they did that, okay? Then I got the Yes I Can Natural Look palette from Essence. I saw, what is her name? What's her name? What's her name? She has a big eyeshadow collection, too. Um, Oh, I can't remember. Butte, her name used to be Butte Addiction, I think. Um, she had this, and she didn't like it. But I'm going to give it a try. What is her name? I can't think of her name. She's uh, Caucasian, light hair. I can't think of her name. And then, what else did I get? I got the two of the new Morphe 18 pan, pan palettes. This is in Making Bank. And this is in Blue You Away. I think that's what it's called. Really 
Okay. Then I really got lucky as a seller that I deal with. I love Krylon and Maron stuff. This um, is the Viva palette. This is really expensive. And she gave me this. And she sold me this one from Maron. Which is also really expensive. Which is the Eye Powder Palette Shimmer. For like next to nothing. I was amazed. And then I got... What else did I get? These are imitation perfumes. Okay. So I know that's fucking cheap and really ridiculous. But I own Daisy. I just recently picked it up. And I liked it so much that I wanted to get something I could spray in my house. So I purchased this from a seller that I purchased before. And she gives you buy one, get one free. And there's an Ed Hardy perfume that I like that she has. So that's those. And she actually only charges me $8 for two, for each of the two. And she gives me one free. The last one I got off from Mercari was the, sorry guys, the 39L. Hit the lights. I really wanted this. So it does have a glitter, which makes me sick to my stomach, but I'm super excited to try this. So those are the ones that I got off from Mercari. So let's do the indie brands okay. that I got. This Next. setup right here are all the indie palettes I purchased this month. So I'm gonna start with the ones that are just one or two. Um, this is, oh gosh, I cannot remember now. And I can't see, of course. Um, I'm Meme Cosmetics. There's two little small palettes that I purchased. And it says Drunken Love, and then it says Love, and I'm Danger. I think it's really cute. One of them, let's see how. The red one is called Dangerous Red. This is what it looks like. It's a really small, petite palette. I thought it'd be really good to pop in my purse. Really pretty. And the pink one is called I Love Rosie. And that's from I'm Mean Cosmetics. Okay. Now, these I got from ColourPop. The first one is the Frozen 2 palette. This is, I don't know who the hell this is. This is Elsa or who the hell, I, yeah, this is Elsa. Okay. I'm not a fan of the glitter, but I really like the color story. This one is You Are a Cutie. And this one over here is X's and O's. And I rearranged this one, actually, and added a different color. So those are from ColourPop. Then I have, from Lethal Cosmetics, these two. This is a custom palette that I did. Okay, and then I got the Jolina, Jolini, Jolina palette. Beautiful story. So, super happy about that. Um, then let's go here. This is from Plurred Cosmetics. I got this off of Etsy. Very pretty. This is from, oh, my, key, my Peachy Keen. This was handmade. Got this off of Etsy. I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait to. It's, it's beautiful. This is, um, Love Lux Beauty. This was broken, so it has stuff kind of holding it in place because I had to repress it. I did a pretty good job. This is the See You In Space Highlighter Palette. I always use them as um, eyeshadows. From Poppy Cosmetics, I got the Neon Drip. This is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Paulina Palette from Blush Tribe, but just like amped up just a bit. I'm excited about that one too. Then I got the Makeup Maniacs Break the Silence Palette. Really beautiful. I really like the packaging. I'm not really big into packaging, but I love the butterfly, of course. Then from the Makeup Shack, I got the Nightfall palette, which I've actually already used. It's really, really good. I like the Makeup Shack. Their shipping is really weird. Like their shipping prices are super, super too much, like a lot. This is from Lovely Chalet's Cosmetics. This was actually a gift. These are beautiful, so. And let's move to, let's move over here. <clears throat> this is Sweet Mint Hello Summer. This was also a gift. Let me try it out. So, Then these are from a brand called Beauty Hut Cosmetics. This is the Goddess Palette. This is a black owned brand. Then 
this is the Mamacita palette. It's really beautiful artistry on the front. This is my kind of color story, as you know. I don't like the glitters, but that's okay. I can work around it. They were $20, I think. And this is the Pretty and Petty. Okay, so those are from Beauty Hut Cosmetics. Okay, over here are my Private Society, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Private Society, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's Private Society Cosmetics. This is the Alter Ego palette. This did not get good reviews. Um, I want to be clear on that. However, I was able to get it at a reduced price, and I like to do my own research, you know? So, this is the Provocative Eyes. Now, these are really cool tone, as you can tell. This is the Girl Boss. Okay. Then, I almost got all of these, but I didn't. Um, this is the Pure Out of the Blue Light Up Vanity in Beam of Light. I have the other one, Ray of Light. This shit is great. Why are we just figuring out that that's a good idea? I don't know. So that's that one. And then I got some of the trolls. There's two I'm missing, but I'm going to get eventually. But it just felt weird to get all six. Oh my gosh, why why did I put them back in the box? I think I had to take pictures. I think that's what it was. This is the pop one, the World Tour pop. Really pretty. Take them out the box. Um, this is the country one, I think. Yeah, Country Western. This is such a beautiful packaging. I love this. A lot of people don't like the packaging because of the, it's, sticky. it's like a sticky type of packaging. Like this part, you hear that? Like that's, that's irritating to some people. I don't fucking care. It doesn't bother me. <clears throat> this is the Funk, which is probably my favorite one. It's cool tone purples and some, a champagne color. I really like this one. And then the Techno. This is also a favorite. It has some glitter and few shades. That is just funky as shit. I love that. So that's from, those were all from Pure. Um, okay, and the last brand, I'm actually doing a review on this brand uh, of all their palettes. I own all of their palettes. I have that, and then I have that over there. So I own all of them. So I'm just gonna go through them very, very quickly. Okay, this is from Sound Cosmetics. Um, there will probably be a link in the bottom. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I just love the brand. This is the Chime palette. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to go through these on the, um, the feature because it's going to be long. I've already taken pictures for it and I'm almost done writing it up, but it's going to take some time. This is the Sparkle palette. This is a glitter palette. And I want to be clear that I bought all this by myself. She did not send me anything. She did send me a free lipstick, which was the shit. But I've bought all this on my own. I just really wanted to support her. I really liked her vision. And she has great eyes. I mean, these are amazing. This is the Winter Melody. I use the crap out of this. I did a couple of looks with that one. Um, this is the Enchanted Palette. I've used this. I've used them all. I've made it a priority to use them because I really wanted to do the feature. I love it when I find a brand that just really, you know, touches me. This is the Iris palette, I believe. Yeah. Let me see. This is the Shadow Wave. Like, this is indicative of um, the one from ColourPop, but it's better. So. And these uh, range from like $12 to $30. This is the, what is this, the Whisper? This is the Large Whisper. There's a Small Whisper and a Large Whisper. I have them both. Okay. One of these I don't think I can show you because it hasn't come out yet. Um, let's see. I think it's this one. No, this is, what is this? Oh, crap. What is this one called? It's like Sultry, Sultry something or another. Sultry Neutrals, I think. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Sultry Neutrals, if I remember correctly. Let's see. This is the Rockstar. This just came out. Beautiful. Oops, sorry, guys. I still have one bucket to get through to finish the haul. Okay. I love this one. This is the Stylish Nudes. This is a perfect, perfect neutral palette for me, especially. 
And that's why I got rid of a couple of neutral palettes this past week. And I think this is the one, but it has not come out yet. It hasn't come out yet. So I'm not going to show you that. Okay. She did send me an extra palette for my birthday. But, you know, after buying like 19 palettes, that, she, that was really cool of her. Don't get me wrong. So those are all the indie palettes I bought. So now I'm going to show you my Sephora haul for the VIB. Stay right here. Okay, guys. Considering that I am a VIB Rouge, I didn't get as much as I thought I was going to get. So let's just start with the ones that I really wanted. Um, the Violet Vosch Coral Crush. I've been wanting this for a while, but I knew the VIB Rouge was coming up. So I grabbed this. Excited about that. I also grabbed the Latte 2. Okay. I also grabbed the Rust palette from Melt Cosmetics. I really dug, dig Rust. I mean Rust. Melt. <laughs> I really dig their aesthetic. I don't think I'm going to get the 420 palette because I have enough greens. But I really dig their aesthetic. I just think they're cool. Like I, I want to hang out with them. <laughs> um, I did pick up whatever the hell this is. What is this? Mini Retro. I did pick this up, of course, to complete my collection of Natasha. I picked up the Wired. Because I heard this is crap, but I wanted to try it myself. I picked up, I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this. It was on sale, and I picked it up. And the packaging is just really minimalistic. I can't say that word very well, but it's super cool. I like how they did that. It's the one by Lawless Cosmetics. I've been wanting this damn thing. So I was super excited when I saw it on sale. I grabbed it. Then I also got, where are you? Oh, this is from a different, I got this off QVC, but I wanted to show it. This is the Foil Finger Paints Highlighter Palette from Tarte. Um, I also, okay, if you've heard me talk about um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, this, this was a movie that my sister took me to. And um, I remember us sneaking in, our, like she had a big purse and we snuck in food because it was so expensive to get stuff. And this was on sale. And I got it, and it means a lot. So it was just a big girl moment for me to hang out with my sister. I got two Cover FX uh, monochromatic blush duos. This one is, oh crap, Pink Dahlia. Okay. And this one is Mulberry, is that what it is? Sweet Mulberry, yeah. I think I got the wrong one of the Sweet Dahlia. I think I was trying to get something else. This is really pretty. Then I got the... I've been wanting this from Cynthia London, the Astro Lights Jeweled Palette. I've been wanting it. I don't know why I've never gotten it, but it's not very expensive. I just have never purchased it. This is the Astro Lights Palette. I've been wanting that, so I got that one. Okay, this is actually really funny. I purchased this at $65, and then I looked on the website the other day, like yesterday, and it was half off. I called Sephora. And I was like, give me my, thir uh, whatever, $32. And they did. It was funny. This is the Impulsive Palette from Melt Cosmetics. On the front are pictures of the owners and their friends and stuff from Melt. Um, I was hesitant to get this because the reviews were mixed. But I just love, like, all these greens and those mustards and those purples. Yes. This is not a palette that most people could use by itself. I can because, you know, I'll make shit happen. But I've been wanting it. So I pulled the trigger and got that. I also got the confetti palette from Tarte because you know I love Tarte. And the last ones, oh, I got the stiletto palette. I've been waiting for it to go on sale from Marc Jacobs because I knew it was going to go on sale. It came broken though. That shade came broken. And then I got um, the locket foundation from KVD or Kat Von D. And then I got this Kat Von D. You know, guys, I like purple, obviously. Um, I got this. Um, whatever, Everlasting, uh, what was it called? Liquid Lipstick. And then two lip stains from Sephora. And that's it. That's it. Oh, this basket. I think that's it, everybody. That's it. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If things are not going your way, remember, it gets real, it gets different, it gets real fucking different. Hang on for the ride, guys. Thank you. <laughs>